Well, another PDP worker has been targeted in the valley. Terrorists have barged into the residence of PDP zonal president Farooq Ahmed. Situated in Kulgam and vandalized his house. As per the sources, Farooq somehow managed to flee from the house. The terrorists fired three shots in air before fleeing. No one has been injured in this attack. This is the fifth attack on political workers in Kashmir in the last 24 hours. A PDP youth president Shiraz Ahmed's house in Kulgam has also been attacked. Ashraf Wani, my colleague, is now joining me on the phone line for more on this. Ashraf, we had been discussing this uh, through the evening. This is reaching alarming proportions, especially workers of PDP being attacked and their houses being ransacked. Absolutely, Ansip. Now, as you mentioned, this is the fifth attack on the political workers uh, during the last 24 hours, only in the South Kashmir. All these things are happening in three districts, that is Pulkuma, Kulgam and Shopiyan, where these incidents had been reported since yesterday. What we saw yesterday, two uh, political uh, leaders from the ruling PDP, uh, their houses were attacked in the Shopia and Pulwama. Today in the afternoon, we have seen a house of ex-MLA of National Conference and NC leader was attacked by the grenade. And today evening, two residences of PDP leaders, local leaders in Kulgam district, ransacked by the militants. They just want to create a fear among the political workers. The ruling party is uh, on target because basically we are seeing some kind of activities by these local leaders at the local level. They are in touch with the political leaders. That is why they are being targeted. And uh, there is a fear among all political workers now in South Kashmir. And uh, so, uh, that is the reality on the ground here in Kashmir. Ashraf, stay on with me. In fact, we are getting another breaking news from uh, Jammu and Kashmir. A disturbing one as we speak, unidentified gunmen have uh, shot at a civilian from Uttar Pradesh uh, in South Kashmir's uh, Arwani area. The victim has been identified as uh, Shakir Ahmed. He was running a snack shop for the last many years uh, in this area. Police have started the probe into the incident. Ashraf remains to be with us on the phone line. Uh, Ashraf, uh, uh, more details on this case. Uh, this resident of Uttar Pradesh who has been shot dead. Uh, any personal enmity or this is an act of uh, terror? Ankit, so far it is not clear who is behind the killing, but so far the police also are saying that militants may be behind the killing of this civilian who was just a uh, uh, vendor in the Arvani area of Kulgam district selling snacks on the main road in the Arvani, uh, who was working there for the last many years and was just known to the area. He has been shot, he was critically injured, he was rushed to the nearby hospital, but on the way he's come to the injury. Uh, as you said, he's heading from UP and was just working here on one of the snack shops in Ram district, in uh, Arvani area of Ram district. And he uh, has been declared as dead in hospital. The police and the security forces have reached to the spot and they are investigating the matter. Thank you so much, um, Ashraf, for joining us with all those uh, details.